<laughs> we'll take a musical moment. Um, for those of you who know me, Mo, five minutes, microphone, not going to happen. So I needed a plan. This is it. I'm here to share wisdom in five minutes or less. With help from Dr. Seuss, I'm up to the test. You've probably learned all you really need to know if you have a copy of Oh, the Places You'll Go. But I've learned a few things from here and from there that Dr. Seuss didn't cover, so I've come to share. Oh, the times that I've had, oh, the places I've went, oh, the people I've known, oh, the emails I've sent. So what do I know now that I wish I knew then? I looked for some lessons and found I had 10. Enjoy the journey. It's the whole point of life. The wins and the losses in fun times or strife. If you're just starting out, there's no need to worry. So feel free to slow down. There isn't a hurry. Take time to celebrate with coworkers and friends the moments so special you won't want them to end. There's so much to learn and that's the best part. You don't need to know everything at the start. So ask many questions and always keep learning. Many folks have the answers. Get your wheels turning. There's lessons to learn everywhere that you look. And just as you thought, most don't come in a book. Ask for guidance and lessons from people you trust. Learning from others' mistakes is a must. Believe in yourself. Give yourself a big cheer. No matter what self-doubt whispers in your ear, don't let that voice make you self-defeating. Now that's a lesson that's worth me repeating. But if you come to a place where your happiness crashes, then move on to the next thing. You'll rise from the ashes. Because when you're happy, you can reach to new heights, advance your career, a promotion's in sight. Being happy should always be at the top of your list. No one enjoys work when they're angry or pissed. <laughs> we spend so much, much time of our lives on our work. So love what you do or you're, you'll end up a jerk. Enjoying your job and the things that you do is an important part of you being you. Be a team player who plays well with others. Being supportive and caring is not just for mothers. Be positive and upbeat in your advice contributions. Be the person who always looks for solutions. Behave in a way that you'll always feel proud. Be pleasant to others. Say nice things out loud. Treat folks in a way that you'd like to be treated. Then only compliments about you get repeated. Be brave. Take some risks and believe in yourself. Let people see what you're made of. Don't sit on the shelf. That's how you'll grow to become a great leader. When you have a staff of your own, be their biggest cheerleader. And when you're at the top, lead by example. Be the best boss there is. Be the best sample. If you decide that you want to, you can be your own boss. Some of us don't even run at a loss. But if you mess up, then the truth you must speak. If a reputation for honesty is something you seek, your integrity is vital. It's all about reputation. So do your best not to end up in jail on vacation. <laughs> Unless you're a premier or person of note, then your press officer can write you a really good quote. See, we're in a business with doctors of spin, but keeping up with the lies will do your head in. The media will pounce. It's their job to dig deep and serve up more problems in a big flaming heap. So only ever have one story, the truth that you know, told well with respect and a transparent glow. Of course, there'll be crisis and scandal and dirt, but if you tell the truth, then you'll never get hurt. Follow your intuition and what your gut tells you. Your inner voice knows the right thing to do. You'll never go wrong if you follow your heart. That's most important of all when things fall apart. Because sometimes you'll fall down. You'll just get it wrong. Then it's your turn to learn. It's part of getting along. You'll have some crazy days filled with worry and stress. You'll be tired, overworked. It will feel like a mess. But when things go to hell and you're on the life raft, that's when you most need to remember to laugh. A good sense of humor is worth more than money. I've survived way more stress when I chose to be funny. A joke or a punchline can help break the ice. And Mary Fraser knows this. Behind the right doors, an F-bomb's quite nice. 
<laughs> Still, be careful with posts and the photos you took. There's a new kind of forever, and we call it Facebook. Now we're at lesson 10. That didn't take long. Live with passion and kindness, and you'll never go wrong. Because kindness is something that's always in fashion, and you need to believe in yourself with a passion. Because if you have it, you'll find that others believe in you and your cause, your ideas and dreams. All there is to know about the road out ahead, you'll learn for yourselves and from some things we said. I've been lucky enough to enjoy every step. Most have been easy, but some were a schlep. But the hard times make us stronger for the challenges that come. I'm running out of wisdom and my time's almost done. Take care of yourself and enjoy your career. And most of all, remember, you have nothing to fear. You are smart, you are skilled, you will be a sensation, which gives me great faith in the next generation. So thanks for asking me to share a few words. I hope they've been helpful, at least for Susie and nerds. Thank you very much.